Hello, my name is Martin and together we are going to have a look at a game-changing technology that opens new opportunities for flexible automation. Of course, I'm talking about the Motion Cam 3D. Today, I will show you what will be in the box, introduce you to the device and get it ready for the first scans. Motion Cam 3D allows user to attain high resolution 3D scans of scenes and objects in motion. Before, it was very complicated to implement 3D vision in applications where movement or vibrations were always present. Now the paradigm shifts. From now on, you can automate even the most complex tasks, all thanks to the novel technology of parallel structured light that is harnessed by this device. This is the robust packaging you are going to receive your Motion Cam 3D in, making sure it arrives safe and sound. Once you have it, you can go ahead and open it up. Let's take a brief moment to see what's included. So what do we have here? At first, it's the camera itself. This is the Motion Cam 3D size M. Your Motion Cam 3D might look slightly different based on the size of the volumes you are planning to scan. Uh, this part is the camera unit. On the other side, it's the projection unit. And the middle part is the processing unit. It has also two connectors, the PoE connector and 24 volt connector. Over here we got the power cord, which is shipped to you based on your location and the country you live in. The next one is the power injector, which provides the necessary power and data flow to your device. It has two connectors on one side, it's the data and data and power connectors and the other side has a connector for the power cord. The next one up is the M12 to RJ45 connector or in other words power over Ethernet cable. And last but not least is the quick start guide. Once we know what each part does, we can start putting everything together. So at first we are gonna grab the power over Ethernet injector and we're gonna plug in the power cord. On the other side of the power over Ethernet injector, we see the data and data and power ports. Uh, we are gonna use the data and power port to plug in the RJ45 connector of the power over Ethernet cable, so we can do that and use the other end of the power over Ethernet cable to plug it in the device itself. So if we align the connector and the port correctly, it should slide right in. And right after that, we will see the first two status LEDs light up. In order to get the other LEDs light up as well, we will need to use the data port on the power over Ethernet in injector and use a LAN Ethernet cable. And we can then take the other end and plug it into a switch or your laptop or a computer. Right after that, we will see the device flash and all of the LEDs will light up as well. Okay, that's it. That's how easy it is to connect your Motion Cam 3D. And now we are ready to do our first scans. That's something we are gonna do in the next video. So stay tuned, check out also the other tutorials and we'll see you in the next one.